My name is Tom Cruise, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a real-time deep fake. Yeah! Alright, as you could tell, it wasn't actually Tom Cruise, it was me. And uh, I wasn't prepared that the deep face, deep face, deep fake technology was going to be evolving this fast, and it's quite amazing. Uh, we did some tests earlier here in the studio at the Virtual Star Studios, it's, which is our virtual production studio, where we plugged the actual output of the virtual production and the virtual environment and replaced the face of the actor, in, uh, in this case, our Emma and uh, Lars and me. And it's, it's quite incredible. And uh, I don't really know what, where this is going to end up when you can put someone uh, wherever in the world or space or time and also change their face to resemble someone else uh, potentially it could be really dangerous but uh, for now just let's have some fun with it and I thought I was going to show you uh, exactly how easy it is right now to do the deep fakes because before you had to train and you had to uh, know Python to be able to write uh, and, and compile their software. But uh, nowadays, uh, some really intelligent, intelligent guy at uh, GitHub has uh, uh, made uh, this software called Deepface Live. Uh, it, uh, it's called Ipero. And uh, it's just as easy as uh, downloading uh, the software and uh, extracting it. I think it was important to extract it, you know, in the rootful, ro root folder of your uh, C or the D drive. Uh, and the most uh, thing you need to think about is that you need to have some pretty good graphic graphics card and Windows and uh, any DirectX 12 compatible graphics card. Uh, I have a GeForce 3090, which is pretty powerful. Uh, and more than that, it's just uh, extracting in the software and then opening it up. And, uh, and then we have a few settings. Uh, I have a really tacky uh, uh, vlog camera going in here. Uh, it's not really high resolution or anything. Uh, let's see if we can just take away the window. So this is how the software looks when you come into it. Uh, and you need to first go to camera source and select your camera settings. Uh, took, took a while to figure out which one I was going to use, but for my Blackmagic Decklink card, it's the direct show and uh, input number one. And then it's over to the face detector. I did some tests with it, uh, but I think that uh, the center face and using uh, the GeForce it gave me the best, uh, you know, results. And also, uh, as you can see now, we are outputting 25 frames per second, which is fucking amazing, actually. Uh, but earlier I had a window size to auto, uh, and then you're gonna see that the frames per second is slowly sinking down to 10 frames or something. So I noticed that I think the the good window size for me was was 500 uh, and then I can have 25 frames per second which is real time for me uh, and uh, the face aligner didn't do any setting I tried raising it but uh, couldn't really tell a difference so I just kept it at 240 to 240 oh come on have to be quick uh, and the face marker, uh, I tried a few here, here as well, but uh, the Google face mesh and I just keeping it on the GeForce because I get good results looking at the frames per seconds here. And here's the fun part. Here is where you can use pre-made models to change your face. So as you can see now, I have Tim Cruise. <laughs> Let's change to, uh, we could, could do a, uh, Silvan Stilvone. And yeah, I guess you're gonna see who, who that is. So it's loading into, it, this is a pre-trained model because deepfake works that you train, uh, you use AI to train the model uh, to, uh, and just using a lot of you know images of Sylvester Stallone, for example. 
and it looks like this. So I guess this face isn't really good for my my face facial structures, but it's, it's pretty pretty cool. Let's see if we can do. Let's do uh, Kim Yeri. I guess that's Jim Carrey. Uh, their pseudonym. Oh, here's Jim Carrey. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, I've been playing with this for, you know, three days now. Still amazes me. It would be much more fun if I know any, you know, taglines. And I don't know, I, I should know a tagline for Jim Carrey, but I don't. I'm not a comedian. And uh, they also have some uh, Margaret Robbie. Margaret Robbie. Let's see how she looks. Yeah, this works much better on uh, Emma, as we tried before. Yeah, but I kind of, I kind of like Tim Cruise. Tim Cruise, Tim Cruise. And that's pretty much it. I guess you could up the quality a bit. Uh, uh, I think. The face, this, these models are like 240 by 240 pixels. Uh, so you could train your own models to get more high resolution. Uh, and you can also maybe apply some pre-sharpen. Let's, let's overdo it. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks not that good. So you just do a little pre-sharpen. Maybe, and you can, let's see if the target delay is doing something. So now... Maybe it has more time to stabilize everything. Yeah, but it looks pretty good, right? Pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. So that was a quick showcase of uh, the Deep Face Live. And it's, you know, it's easy as that. It's not nothing, it's something fancy. Or, or the software is something fancy, but uh, this guy, Ipero, did it really good, so it's super fucking easy to use. So I guess, uh, I guess that's Tom Cruise signing off, going to save the world, one tutorial at a time. See you later.